Welcome back from dog scarves to cat hoodies. Paw <laughs> rinse all over California want their four-legged family members to look their best, just like us, right? Yeah, and that's why one dog mom took her love for canine couture and turned it into a one-of-a-kind boutique offering personal pet styling animal fashion, and more. That's a lot. And correspondent Paul Costable is at Fur Kids Boutique chatting with the self-described best and only dog seamstress <laughs> in the South Bay. And Paul, I understand all of this was inspired by a precious little rescue Pomeranian. That's right, guys. I'm here. And I it's so much cool fashion here, Abril. I want to put everything on myself. Tell us a little bit about what happens here at Fur Kids Boutique. So not only do we sell the best canine couture for your dog, but we also are your personal pet stylist and the best in the South Bay. Guys, this shop is so cool. Look at this. Everything in here is cute, adorable, and a little retro, too. You're kind of inspired by the antiques. Yes, I love the 1920s, Art Deco, the fashion, not the values, all the glitz and the glamour. That's right. And don't forget, I have to have my morning drink. A little Paw Sipico. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Also, wait real quick. Got to try a little Lacate. I love the puns here. <laughs> Woo! Um, now, talk about what goes on here, because bef before you had this shop, you were... Yeah. You were just with a dog, right? Your dog, the Pomeranian. Yes. What's the story with little Iris? So Iris, I rescued Iris, and I already had the location here. I wasn't sure what I was going to make of the location yet, and I started dressing her up, and I opened up a boutique for dogs and cats. Right, and it wasn't really, it wasn't just custom-made things. No. It was just clothing for dogs yes. and hats? Yeah. Yeah, so first we started off with just buying wholesale, and then due to the pandemic, we had to start, um, we taught ourselves how to sew. Right, so you told me a lot of the business here is customized outfits for yes. dogs, right? You do a lot of customized sewing. Yes. What goes into that process? People come in, they fill out a form, they say, yeah. I've got to be bedazzled, I want to match my dog for this cool party. What mm -hmm. happens? So people come in with their fur kit, we here take down their measurements, we get all their measurements here, the information they want, dress, vest, bow tie, whatever it is you want. We get their measurements down, and then we go and pick the fabric Beautiful. out. Because of the 1920s inspiration, I put Gatsby, guys. That's what I want for this. Can you make some for me real quick? Of course. Let's I'm actually... Let's in real time. I'm going to do something um, for little Iris to do a little fashion show, because I think we got to see the threads here at Fur Kids Boutique. Now, this is what happens every time. Abril comes in here. She works the threads. Take a look at, in real time, how she's putting together this great Gatsby dress for Iris. Hanging out, her husband and stepson are here. It's a family affair. What's up, guys? <laughs> and what I love is that it's so customizable. A lot of people don't realize this is one of the biggest businesses in the world, pet pet fashion, right? Tell me a little bit about the success you've seen in the past few years. Oh, I would say at least 85% of our sales are only custom apparel now. Um, that's what people come in for. People feel more a personal attachment to their pet when it's custom and it's unique and it's one of a kind. Amazing. Now, because you're sewing right now, why don't you finish that up? Get Iris ready. I want to do a little fashion show. I'm going to find a little spot to do our fashion show, okay? Get Iris ready. Also, I just want to maybe get myself ready for a dog fashion show, which uh, these are made for dogs. I shouldn't be putting these on, but now I look a little bit like... Elton John. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this on. This is the fur fashion show happening in real time. How do I look, guys? Now, keep in mind, this stuff is made for dogs. But I'm just gonna go strong because I'm feeling so in the moment with the fashion here and I wanna showcase exactly what goes down. Now it's time for Iris's fashion show, Fur Kids Boutique. Hit some music, DJ. I got the lights. Let's see what she's wearing. Oh yeah, oh wow. She's rocking a great Gatsby blue thread. What's going on in the back of the bedazzle there, uh, she has Abril? She some uh, tassels and some bling, of course, tassels. and with velvet fabric. Velvet. Iris, you're looking good. She's ready for the party. She got the invite. Now, what's next? we got a couple threads we're going to see Iris wear today. Now, keep in mind, if you guys come in, if you get in touch with Abril, you can have anything like this for your pet. She will customize anything you want. We're just showing off a few here. Oh, don't look. Oh, wait, she's got the fur. Kind of like when I <laughs> take my shirt off, same thing. Okay, here we go. Now she's got the bow tie. Check out that bow tie. And it is reversible. The sequins, the bow tie. Look at how stylish she looks. And I love that this all started with, you know, your passion for your pet. You, you're wanting to dress her, right? That's how this whole yes. business started. Yes. Let's try one more real quick. 
I've never done a dog fashion show before, guys. This feels right. And look at how cool she is, Iris. I'm going extra stroke for this last one. We got the hearts. We're loving it. Make sure you guys check out Fur Kids Boutique, guys. Bring your pets in here. It's so much fun. Now, she's a really famous fashion model. I understand she has a flight to catch, right? So let's get her out of here. Thank you for coming for the Fur Kids Boutique. Funny enough, these work as two different things. Go ahead out of here. Go ahead. Thanks for hanging with us, Iris. Guys, check it out anytime. I'm going to just wear this as a human. You come wear it with your pet and take the plane right here. Paul, I see a future. I see a, a fashion stylist for you in the future. You're gonna be a spearheading all these. Oh yeah, I need, I need one of these little guys. <laughs> oh my god, I was waiting for him to get on all fours. I thought I that was coming next. You had the, you had the get up glasses. <laughs> Paul, great job, fantastic job. All right, you guys enjoy. <laughs>